Hey, this is Chris from Piedmont Farm Systems. Today we're going to discuss a little bit about setting up and some of the options and how to use your variable speed drive fan on your Chore Time Choretronics 3 controller. The control that I'm using has breeder software on it, so some things may look different. Go to the main menu button and then click Setup. Once you're in the Setup menu, click on Outputs. What we're going to do now is make sure that your controller is set up to recognize the variable speed drive fan. So now click on Equipped Numbers. Now that you are in here, make sure that the box beside variable fans is checked. Also put in the number of variable fans you have in the area to the right. Once you have done this, find in the upper left hand corner the back arrow. Click the back arrow and it will take us back to the outputs screen. Now find and click ventilation. Once you're in ventilation, then find and click variable fans. Okay, in this area, there's a few things we need to do. We need to select which analog output is assigned for our variable speed drive fan, then which modes we want the fan to run in, which sensors we want to run the fan, and our voltage outputs. Most of the time, this is analog output one, PT for power and tunnel mode, all your sensors, and then zero to 10 volts. This is just for chore time controller and chore time variable speed drive combinations. Other combinations may be different. Now we will set up your settings for your variable speed drive fan. Go to the main menu and click on ventilation settings. Once in the ventilation settings tab, find and click the variable speed drive. Okay, now that we are in here, we need to make sure that variable fan 1 is selected. Click the down arrow in the area up to the left that I've got circled and make sure that variable fan 1 is selected. Now on to these other settings. Current speed. This is something that your controller reads and then puts here. You cannot change this setting. This can range anywhere from 0 to 100 depending on how you have everything else set up and if your variable speed fan is running or not. Variable speed max. This should always be set at 100. With it being set at 100, this will let your fan ramp all the way up to 100%. Variable speed min. This can range anywhere from 65 to 70, depending on your fan and the age of the fan in the house. What this needs to be set at is a percentage at which your fan will keep the shutters open. Otherwise, the variable speed fan will not do any good. Most of the time, what we set this at is 65%. Fan startup time. This should be somewhere in the range of seven to 10 seconds. What you need to do is you need to figure out how long it takes from the time that your fan turns on till your shutters are completely blown open. What this does is it allows your fan to run at 100% for the amount of seconds that you set to open up the shutters and then if the fan needs to come back down to a minimum percentage it will then kick down to say 65 or 70% depending on the minimum percentage that you have set. Now go back to your main menu and select output and temperatures. The max var speed 1 and the min var speed 1 is your variable speed drive fan. Most of the time, your variable speed drive fan is also your min vent fan. In the right part of this screen, you'll see that we have already made the selection to where our variable speed drive fan is our min vent fan. When you set your variable speed fan, 
to where you have a couple of fans on in between. What it lets it do is your variable speed fan will start out at the minimum and then work its way up to 100% until the first fan kicks on above it. Once that fan kicks on, your variable speed backs back down to your minimum percentage and as temperature increases, it will raise back up to 100% again until the next fan cuts on. This is why you set these two apart like this and leave some fans in between it. This both helps with power, static pressure, and also helps with temperature spikes. We hope that this little video has helped. Please be sure to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook as well as our website www.piedmontfarmsystems.com We are located in Statesville, North Carolina. If you have any questions regarding any of this material, please feel free to call us at the number here. All of this material is for reference. Before making any changes, please contact your service rep and make sure that it's okay. We are conveniently located in Statesville, North Carolina, right off of Interstate 77. Y'all take care.